Hey, lightweights, and welcome back to some more Until Dawn. It's been a while since we played. Sorry about that. Um, but we're back, and I'm excited to continue the story. And we're getting a lot of answers all at once. Um, but, oh gosh, now I'm going to forget character names. Josh. Josh? <laughs> I think, um, is, has been taken. So we, we got to go rescue him. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of where we left off. Our new friend, um, with the, why do I always forget what it's called? The flamethrower. Why can I not remember that? Our new friend with the flamethrower got sliced and diced. So he is no longer with us. Um, but other than that, I feel like I, Made made some good decisions last last video. Um, we'll see if that's true or not. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so you don't want to post the next video because we are getting close to the end. I think, if I'm correct, about there being one segment for each hour left. Um, I think we should have three videos left. So subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss a thing. And also thank you to my patrons and channel members for allowing me to do this full time. Dan, Riley, Toth, Meat Wizard, James, Nile, Fantasy Hawkeye, Matt, Simone, Nathan, Roderick, Reagan, J Logic, Barry D, Patrick, Ronnie, Chance, Charlie, Jersey 87, Robert, Tom, Miggy, Rape, Jago, Kelvy, Shane, Heath, Artist Jack, Larry, Achille, Kazer CEO, and Payton. All right, you guys, here we go. Previously on Until Dawn. Oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! No more. Holy shit! What the... What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. That was right, Josh. That. It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. It's horrible. There have been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Oh! <sighs> Two hours until dawn, but we're chapter nine. So is there ten oh, chapters? Yeah, or eleven? Oh, right stick. <laughs> like, it's not working! Because I'm using the wrong stick. Um... So it's interesting because I wonder if some of the dialogue would be different if I didn't find the clues that I had found. Because I feel like last video they said a lot of things that I found in clues. So would he not have put all of those pieces together if I hadn't found those clues? Or would he still have said that and I just wouldn't have gotten the credit for the clues? I don't know. Interesting either way. I know this is stupid because there's still windigos out here, but... It feels a little less scary now that I know who the people are. Like, Josh was the psycho, and... Flamethrower guy was actually friendly. Feels less creepy. Which is gonna get me in big trouble, I'm sure. Because, you know, the Wendigos are what we really need to be afraid of. How do I walk fast again? Not that button. Left bumper? Yeah, left bumper. Okay. Walk fast is a relative statement, because it's still not fast, but... <laughs> Faster! Also, 
also, who's going to take care of the wolves now? That one wolf was my friend after I punched him in the nose. gonna try to eat me I already got that I know I did Angle is the worst. Did I go upstairs yet? I don't think I went upstairs last time. longer that time. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Listen, you joke, but this is going to be helpful. Maybe take a couple more bullets than that. <laughs> like, fill your pockets to the brim. There isn't any stairs over here, right? Uh, okay. Oh, God. I can tell I haven't played this in a while. It's hard to move around. Stairs on this side. No, that was the, the collapsed side. All right. Well, I can't see shit. What the hell? This is not where I'm supposed to go. Get through the sanatorium to find Josh and the cable car key. Why can't I get out this front door? Okay. Oh, maybe I can shoot the lock off this thing now. Yeah, okay. Seemed a little excessive. I guess desperate times and all. But now we only have one more shell in there, right? I think it's a two shell type of gun. Hey, guy. Hey, see me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Alright. Good one. Right, I still go. don't think I'd be putting my face right there. Come on with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Uh, Couldn't have said it better myself. He's so cute! Ah, boy. He's so gonna die. And that's gonna make me very sad.
No entry. Danger. Doggy boy, calm down. I don't know. He's probably warning us there's windigos in here. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. Stuck on this side. The camera angle has been changing a lot here. Alright. There goes nothing. Sparklies. I feel like I'd be coughing in this area with all this dust in the air. Detention area. Hmm. Which way am I supposed to go? This doesn't look great. Huh. Doctor's report. The report by Dr. Bowen notes several serious irregularities in some recent patients. It appears that the patients were undergoing some sort of physical change. Reporting physician, Dr. W.B. Cathcart, initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we have run a number of tests, both physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. Symptoms observed. Pallor, skin dispigmentation, severe vitamin D deficiency, social dysfunction, longer than average readaptation period, post traumatic event, interpersonal behavior erratic, violent towards orderlies, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching. Symptoms expected but not observed malnutrition or scurvy. Average quetlet quet index was only within 3% of normal expected values. They should be dead. Frostbite. Patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds, 130 to 410, I have no idea what any of this means. Unaverse, frailty, weakness, distension of tibia, fibia, and humerus. Observed unusual growth in strength. One patient lifted 725 pound weights. Suggested action, place under strict observation. Restraint strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies, 24 hour day observation. And then it said they're all dead. And this has an update, what does this say? According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Okay, apparently shit went down in there. <gasps> oh. Oh, Sophie's bitch. brother? Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? Sorry, Wolfie. Don't wander off alone, bud. Huh. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Well, they're Wendigos, so pretty dang. Let us out, we are starving, oh, no, freezing. Yeah. This is nuts. I'll make you pay, stop testing us now. In there for nine days? Were they starving because they weren't getting humans to eat? Or were they starving because they actually weren't getting any food? Don't go too far ahead, Wolfie. Hmm. 
Okay. What is this camera angle? Why are you doing this to me, game? Wolfie? Wolfie, why'd you leave me? This is like the electric chair testing. Restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature and become violent. It attacks the people making the film. This looks like the chair used in the old film showing a miner turning into a wendigo. Great. All right, I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. So now I'm on a backtrack and go over here. <laughs> God. What the hell? Why is it so long over here? I don't want to miss any clues. They're giving valuable information. second. I don't know if I'm ready to see what that is in there. Okay, just kidding. Here we go. Oh, there's a glowy. I missed that. Day four. Epidemial dispigmentation. I don't know. Okay. Didn't get me any info. I mean, do I want it? Don't know if that was a good idea. Don't know if that was a good idea at all. Holy shit. Who is this guy? You're like dead dead, right? Sorry, Olga. Not that kind of game, I suppose. To whom it may concern. dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson something something. A suicide note signed by Jefferson Bragg. He locked himself in his safe room and took poison. He seems to be describing some sort of massacre outside.
I feel like this should be something in my clue book. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Not, not working. Not working. Oh! <sighs> Game, please. Please, I, I would like to try to... Fucking, fucking fuck. I feel like that should have been a clue of some sort. Oh, finally. But I can't do anything with it. Oh! Jesus, hot sauce, Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Okay, see, I tried to do that before and it didn't let me flip it. Maybe I didn't try it before and I thought I did. A series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. By the end, the miner was clearly... The miner has clearly become a Wendigo. All right. Day four. Epidermal dispigmentation expected after time underground. Severe curvature of thoracic region. Post-traumatic kyphosis. Corneal dystrophy and clouding. Acuity 20 out of 160. Day nine. Chronic kyphosis, scarring alopecia, extreme nasal septum perforation, ectodermal dysplasia, pointing of teeth. Day 12, telogen effluvium, not alopecia? Yeah, sure. Maxillary canine length, one inch, consistent with corneal edema, but acuity now 20 out of 22, epidermal toughening, stratum corneum. Yeah. Yep. I understood all of that. Okay, well, I'm glad I came back this way. it's a good idea or a bad idea to try to shut all the doors behind me, but I feel like I would be shutting all of the doors behind me. <laughs> and then probably getting myself killed. Uh, Wolfie's not going in there. I don't know if we should either. Thank you. 
Oh, there's one right there. I didn't even breathe that time. It took one tiny little breath. Stop talking to yourself. You're being very loud. Where are you? Shh. Face right by the bars. One at a time, boys. It's enough for me for all you. Again, don't need to shoot. He's in a cage. I probably shouldn't have shot him because he was on a shit on a chain. Yep, shouldn't have shot. Shit. actually killed him though because that like spirit thing was released in the flame. Wolfie went in here, right? I wonder if we would have run out of bullets if we shot the ones in the, the prison cells.
I be going in any of these rooms? I don't think so. Oh, something's so jumping out at me. Any second now. I can feel it. Mike spared Emily. Ashley is faced with a dilemma and told the truth. Where was... Oh, man's best friend. Mike kicked the wolf, but he made amends. The wolf guided Mike around the sanatorium. Mike's new friend survived! We saved him! Okay. My face to dilemma. All right, that's fine. <gasps> Fuck. One of them probably still would have been around. Bye bye, Wendigo. Okay, so now the question is how many are actually left in the mines? I knew she was alive! For now. <laughs> Lucky there just happened to be these minor right here. <laughs> okay, so there's at least one in the mine. Come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe you should go on without me. Together. Mike will just have to wait. I hope that was the right choice. <sighs> okay. Mike freed himself from the bear trap, but he no longer had to use one machete. He found another way through the sanatorium. Okay, so we did make it through. Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. Oh, God. But was that the right thing to do? I don't know. I mean, Mike made it out okay. It just seems like a bad plan to split up, you know? God. So he has 
eaten somebody before? Because he's turning into a Wendigo, and that only happens if you turn into a cannibal. So, Josh is a cannibal? That could be it. Mm, just kidding, that is it. Wait, hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Oh, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Oops, shit. <laughs> Holding on to R2 when we do that. Watch your fingers. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. Now who's going first? <laughs> After you. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is, where else would it go? The sewers? Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I'm trying, Ash. Close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Just left me behind. Cool. Remember when I said that we should stick together? <laughs> this is not what I meant. Damn, what the hell? Why are they walking so fast? Such a mistake. Such a mistake. This is fucking crazy. Yep, I'm sorry. Jessica. Ugh! Jessica, is that you? I mean, they can't impersonate voices, right? <laughs> Since when 
can they do that? to impersonate voices like that and the fucking Sam leaving us behind oh, are you kidding oh, me shit. Shit, dead end. <sighs> no, I think I can I think I can do it it's like a rock wall I'm gonna keep going are you serious get back to the lodge uh, shouldn't we stick together Sam I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to get Mike with you or without you. Just make it back, okay? I still can't believe she fucking... Oh, God. I should have known better. Jesus. Okay, guess we're not checking out the other way. everybody killed. I'm so gonna get everybody killed. down to where this fucker lives. <sighs> Ashley or Chris opened the trap door and let the monster in. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Great. Great. All right, guys, I have to stop there. So were we actually hearing 
Jess's voice and I just opened the trap door, which I wasn't supposed to do? Or was that one to go impersonating Jess? Because I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> That's a new development. Um, I knew I knew right away that I made the wrong choice going to investigate the voice. You never go and investigate the voice. You never go and investigate the voice. But they were smart and they were tricky. And they literally just had me see that Jess was alive. They knew what they were doing. At least I got a trophy out of it, so I'm not totally upset, but that sucks. I was I felt like I was doing so well. I kept Mike alive, I kept the wolf alive, and then I make a stupid decision and um, I am curious to see though how Josh is gonna start turning into a Wendigo that was a danger totem, so it doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna happen, but what the hell could happen that would allow him to start to turn because you have to be a cannibal in order to turn into a Wendigo. So does he see food that he thinks is something else and it's actually human? Or I don't know, but I'm not going to eat anything if I have a choice as Josh. <laughs> or maybe he does turn into the Wendigo and the danger is just that he is a Wendigo and like it's telling the other characters. Like maybe I don't play as Josh at all. I don't know, man. I don't know. But every time I think I'm doing well, something happens and I'm no longer doing well. <sighs> All right, well, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.